Hello there! So it's been quite a couple of days, honestly, since the last time I really did any recording or anything like that. And I kind of went on a little bit of a crazy uh, binge of invading and doing lots of other things. So first off, and I'm assuming I got it at a point where I didn't realize what... Like, I wasn't paying attention. So... There is... What the shit? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I found this random item in my inventory, right? The ref the or not the refine. The Drake Blood Greatsword. And I I had no idea what it was, right? And I, I started using it a little bit, and it's really, really good. And it has the same moveset as the um I'm just gonna call it Lucateel Sword, but Yeah, like it's got the same exact moveset. It has Physical, magic, and lightning damage. And it doesn't have any um, intelligence or faith scaling or requirements, which is really good. I like it. I turned to refined. I upgraded to max because it's that goddamn good. And I, when I was like, what the shit, where did I get this from? So I like Googled it or whatever. And the first thing that popped up was the Drake Blood Armor. So I, I couldn't help myself. Like, let's be real here. I am... I lack any sort of self-control. <laughs> I'm not even going to deny that a little bit. And it is found at the same place where we got the Path of the Dragon gesture. Arm is symbolizing the arm of the Drake Blood Knights, worshippers of the blood of dragons. The Red Claw is said to symbolize their yearning for blood. Dragon worship has captured the hearts and minds of warriors across the land for many ages. Perhaps such warriors are attracted to doctrines of few words. Yeah, so I got that. And when I went to go upgrade my weapon, this weapon, Andre decided to tell us that he had a message for us. Hawkwood Swordgrass. Bloodstained Swordgrass of Hawkwood, the, a deserter of the Undead Legion. Traditionally, the Undead Legion of Farron sends the gravest of message, messages using Swordgrass. Come to the mausoleum in Farron. Only one can take the path of ancient dragons. So... I am assuming that because we summoned him, he... We moved along, I guess you would call it his quest line, so to say. So, I, I'm i going to take the assumption also that his... Like, the mausoleum is where we fought the Abyss Watchers. I also, which I'm probably going to play a quick little bit of footage now. Um, there was actually a room I missed in... Um, Irithyll, and it contained uh, quite a bunch of shit. It was, r it's right above the room with the Silver Knights and everything, and what I realized also is that they don't respawn, which is really, really great. So, what we got there was, I believe it was a Divine Blessing, which... I, I never really, like, looked at before, but it's really funny because... Yeah, the Queen of Lothric was married to that uh, weirdo, Osiris. And was revered as God's fertility and bounty. After giving birth to Ocelot, her youngest, she quietly disappeared. Which is pretty creepy sounding. It also had... Where are you? Smo's Great Hammer, which is the Tristed Great Hammer associated with Smo, the last knight to remain, I suppose, guarding the ruined cathedral. And it also had, I believe it's Leo Ring, but I gotta look. God damn it. Ring associated with Dragon Slayer Ornstein, one of the fur four nuts of Gwyn's the first lord. Blah blah blah. Which, all that is really cool. There are also... Two things that... I missed that I'm gonna go get on camera. And... Both of which, I guess, were technically spoiled for me because... I said it before, but I'm enjoying the content of people who do the Dark Souls content, and I 
I've been being really, really careful about where I'm watching, because I don't want to get spoiled on anything too crazy. But I missed an item over here, which is surprising. I totally did not realize that I missed this. Paladin's Ashes. And the other thing that I'm about to show was, um... I kind of, like, just randomly clicked a video, and it basically started at this item. And I kind of also wanted to say something a little bit about how they, they've kind of been doing the whole... You kill an NPC... Uh, I, I don't want to necessarily call them invader, but an NPC... I, I'm, maybe I'll just keep calling them, like, the NPC hunter types. In that they weren't somebody that invaded you, but they're somebody that exists in the world as, like, a thing. And then you go to a random... It seem, it seemingly it's, like, a random-ass place. And then you get their stuff. Oh, also, I totally installed a mod as well, which hopefully I don't get banned for it, but... Eh, it's just a recoloring. Eh, like, and I'm a little bit bummed that I kind of spoiled it for myself, but at the same point, I wouldn't have come back up here. <laughs> like, it was like, uh, I clicked on a video and they were already here, and I was like, ah, shit, okay, whatever. But I'm not going to use it anyway. And as I said, I just find it interesting that they almost, like, expect you to find this stuff. Where some of these areas are really out of the way. Like, if there wasn't a fast travel system, I would totally think that it's beyond reasonable. But I, I'm kind of starting to think that they expect you to just, like, dick around a lot. And I've lucked out a lot by finding a lot of these items by dicking around. But there are times where I'm like, really? I would have never found this. Like, if I wasn't recording this for the internet and didn't want to progress in my game... Or, like, if I wasn't doing this on the internet and didn't want to, like, get further, like, because all I do really off camera is, like, dick around and play and invade and have fun because I think that it's cool. You know? Like, I like playing this game. I think it's really fun. And I don't want to, like, I really want to play the game. I don't want to progress or anything like that. So, if that wasn't the case, I would have never gone back to some of these areas. Ever. So, I don't know how they really expect people to find some of these things. It's interesting, though. Regardless. Like, I, I like... Like, on the one hand, I really like it. And on the other hand, I'm like, that's kind of weird. You know? The warriors who followed have the rock never flinched, nor retreated from battle, crushing any foe that's... Okay. Thought that it might have something more to say, but... Where's the... Oh, okay. Yeah, same thing. That's fine. Yeah, so I guess let's go back then, and we can move on, I guess? Maybe? Possibly? Hopefully. Yeah, like... I, I really like this sword a lot, and I don't know what it really is about it. I just really freaking... Like, a lot. Like, probably too much, actually. Um, I did also kind of figure out where the boss is in this area. Because I was I was doing some invasions here. And boy, did I get ganked quite a lot of times. Like, a lot. Way too much. And, uh, I did... It's really funny, though. I kept invading the world of these... It, it was a guy and, like, four friggin of his buddies, and Jesus Christ. Like, literally, they were just waiting for me every time right outside the boss fog. So, like, I guess realistically, the best way to put it is, I don't know where it is in relation to everything, but when I get there, I'll know where it is. Oh, actually... Nah, I'll keep it like this for a little while, at least. And I do want to keep on this armor as well, because it is... Really cool, and I like it. And I might eventually switch back to the Elite Knight set and other things. 
Actually, I just realized. Well, I mean, I realized it before also, but, you know. There is that other dragon there. And I'm... Jesus. I'm curious as to where the guy upsetting his little toe or whatever is at. Hmm. Is the Frost Knight still down here? No. Hmm. I'm curious now, though. Also, in somebody else's... Like, the, the other thing that definitely makes me think about it is that... When I invaded other people's worlds, it, like, this dragon wasn't there. So, it's kind of like one of those things where... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. For a second, I forgot how it is to get my ass- Oh, God damn it! That was really dumb. Yeah, this weapon is really friggin' good. And just from a straight-up damage perspective, it is way better than the Claymore and the Black Knight Sword. I- Oh, Jesus Christ. How do I keep forgetting about these guys? Let's see if I can parry it. Boom! I've also been working on that a little bit. I ain't even gonna lie. Boy, is that shit fun, though. Yeah, so now where is he being... Like, where is his little toesies being upset from? Huh. Hopefully I find it. Aw, oh, look at them JPEGs down there. I also totally changed my character's appearance again, because I am such a little baby for aesthetics. Alright, I want to go through this way a little bit and just see if maybe it's here. Oh, Christicles. He sees me from like a mile away. I don't know how, but, you know. I don't know if I can parry that or not, but goddamn. I would like to see if I could, but... Okay. Please? Shit, okay. That was a little bit scary there. For a second, I might have maybe thought he was going to revive him. What are you doing? You big dummy. Yeah, I'm starting to really like this set with the, um, what's-his-face's mask. You know me, I just forget everybody's name and I just call them what's her, what's some faces and stuff, you know? I'm just so nice to everybody. God damn it! I just want the parry! Give me the parry! Please? Bye bye! That is if my voice doesn't crack. Yeah, and it also has stance, which... I think that stance is a really cool one because... It definitely is beneficial. You know what I mean? It... The moves... Like, it, it allows you to get definitely a good lunge forward. As well as... The ability to kind of punish people from a little bit far away. Like, people who are guarding too much from far away. I think that that is a really cool ability. 
it's just kind of hard to use sometimes because a lot of people understand what happens. And if you don't have a lot of... I know that poise doesn't necessarily work the way that it did in the other games, but there are some attacks and weapons and stuff that do allow you to, like, tank hits. And that, like, it's just... You need to be, like, a certain point in the attack to really get it with that specific attack. And so it's just a little bit hard. Yeah, there's a boss fight. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that quite yet. Yay! That's not open from the side. What the shit? Oh, damn, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there it is. Awesome. And an item as well. I do, however, I'm pretty sure that this is a shortcut. No, no, not that. Yeah, because this should lead to the room at the very beginning of Lothra Castle with the, um, the knight and stuff. Running through this way is going to be quite the pain in the butt, but... Oh, well, I guess. This is also, like, the slowest friggin' elevator ever. Yeah, see? So that's pretty cool. So now we have at least a way to get back here. Yeah, I've also been messing around with, uh, god, I forget the weapon name. But I didn't know this. Apparently, this one also parries. Where is it? Yeah, like, I didn't realize that. That this one also totally does a parry. And the reason, the reason specifically that I find that interesting is... of Kareem. Maybe? I don't like this at all. No trap ahead. Pine Night Scale. Okay. I will take your word for it, but then immediately disappear, because F that. What the shit? Try down and then or ahead. How, how did so many people die? Over here, though. Contraption does not move. Huh. That's kind of odd. Maybe it leads to... Maybe it's a shortcut after the boss fight. Red Tearstone Ring. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that that's... Uh, I forget... I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing as the blue tear stone, just damage. Yeah. This stone is said to be a tear mourning of the goddess Kaitha. And of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Maybe. I don't know. I know a lot of people for speed runs or low level runs do a lot of the time use that kind of stuff for specifically like setups for it because at low level runs, like you're gonna die. At, like, if you get hit anyway. Like, there's really no way in hell you're gonna... Wait a shitty second. So that means we can get up there as well. That is cool. I hope that there's a way down this way. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot about this ladder as well. Yep, 
Yeah, I love this little reshade. It really... It doesn't do a lot. It just does enough. Like, all that it does is, like, they're... they're and I've noticed it... In that there is totally a... Like, a very light white filter... Over the game. And... The thing that... Oh! Sorry, I thought that there was... A something coming from behind me, and that made me not happy. Absolutely not there. But yeah, like, it's, it's very slight, and I do think that a lot of the colors in this game are beautiful. It's just all that does is take, a, take it away a little bit and kind of allow the colors kind of to shine through a little bit more. And I like it a lot. I think it's really damn good. This, if you were to tell me right now that this was a trap, I would agree with you immediately. Although this interests me first. Praise the pointless. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. But I am going to be switching to the Black Knight sword from this sword. Um, so that way, if I encounter, like, specifically Knight's Ring. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Like, specifically the, um, shit, like the Nameless King or whatever his name was, I, I, you know, it's just an assumption, but I, th I think I'm right, and that he's probably strong against electricity, and so, in that, I think that it would be a bad idea to use an electric sword against him, so I am gonna be, like, switching it up a little bit, but I do, oh, really, absolutely not. Oh, come on, really? Hashtag sucks to suck, dude. But and the reason why I have this sword equipped is just because... I heard that it increases item discovery, and I like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, hello there. Don't you dare only praise the sun. Okay, that's where it is. Okay. Fun fact. I got a lot of them. I'm talking a lot. Sacred Oath and Great Lightning Spear. Oh. I didn't even realize this, too. Tynet's... Ooh, hello there. I do appreciate that... Because I might try this weapon out just for grinding for items, you know? I totally did become a little bit of a scummy S-Doc user online, though. Only for the gang squads. It's pretty great, though. Okie dokie, then. I want to see if I can buff this weapon really quickly. I can! Holy crap! That's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to take the wild, wild, wild assumption and say that I'm just supposed to drop down here. Jesus Christ! No, come on! Please. God damn it. Oh, sick. That's really cool. And we have a lot of souls now, too. 
Actually, it's not that much, but you know. Really, that's it? That's all you're gonna give me? That's all you're gonna give me. Whatever, then. <laughs> Mimicry ahead. Beware of beanpole. Aye, aye, Capitan. That looks really cool with the fire on the sword, though. I like it a lot. So, actually, do I have any of them? I do. Oh, coolie. Oh! Oh! Holy crap, I'm gonna be able- I wonder if all of this stacks. Let's try, real quick. How quickly does it drain my health? Okay, so it's not that bad. So then, that, that, and the gold serpent ring. Yeah, it totally all stacks. So that means if I... just did some grinding exactly like this, I would get so many damn items. Also, I think that this is definitely the best looking version of this. By a goddamn country mile. Damn, I could get the rarest of drops. Braille Divine Tome of Lothric. Oh yeah, also we totally got the Sunlight Straight Sword, didn't we? Straight Sword imbued with the strength of lightning. The Fearless Longsword contains the very power of the sun, perhaps the lyric of a one-sided adoration. <laughs> Oath of Sunlight. Raise the sword aloft when praising the sun. To boost attack and damage absorption for self and allies. Really? Here, let me see if maybe I need to have... Because I found that a lot of the times if you don't have... Yeah, I can't even use it because of the fact that I don't have the damn... Uh, faith requirement, or the faith stat well enough to do it. Which is kind of sad, but whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, I actually totally forgot to mention, I found one of these in Yorm's, um, room, which is interesting because the little, I guess, you know, lore piece about it is that he gave one to the humans who doubted him, and one to a friend, and it's kind of like, I get you, game. I get you. Pretty cool, though. I do really like that idea. Alright. I mean, I guess either way at this point, I'm going to need to rest. Uh, there you are. Oh, so we totally need to fight what's-his-face as well. Let me see if I can get a level. I think I'm probably just a little bit short. Oh, maybe not. I will indeed accept that. Um let them assume a new master. Inhabiting the ash. I don't know. What do I want to do? Yeah, like I feel like I'm not gaining anything really. Manifesting their vessels. Manifesting 
by doing this at this point, really. I guess anything I do is prob is going to give me bonuses to stuff either way, so. Let's put one into Vigor for that little bit of extra health, then. I don't know, though. Sure, let's do more and more into Vitality one more time. And then we can, I think we just need to go back to this one. Or no, 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 the other one. Well, I guess technically we could go back to this one. All right, so let us prepare. What does the Knight's Ring do? Oh, holy shit, that's a lot. Actually, it really isn't. In terms of, like, actual damage, it only adds 10. I'll maybe use it when I don't need, like, Havels or something. You know? I mean, I think other than that, really, like, the only thing that I could really say is going to be helpful is maybe, like... I mean, if we're going up against a boss, realistically, I doubt that he's going to be able to... Or, I doubt we're going to be able to, like, guard break him, so... Uh, poop. Um. Sure, why not? Let's just do that for now. And then we just go this way. Drop down. And then we're almost there. Now we just gotta hopefully not get murdered by um this guy over here. I should I should have probably brought the elevator back down, shouldn't I have? Fudge. Please. I really wish this elevator would hurry up now. Now I'm getting irritated by it. Like, he sees me! Like, that dude knows I'm here. And he seems a little bit angry about it, but... Come on, elevator, you're so close. You're so close. Bye-bye. Hashtag sucks to suck. Yeah, I really like this combo of armors. The Black Knight, uh, the Drake Blood, and also that Leonhard helmet or whatever. Actually, what's my equip load at? Let me, just in case. So I'd be a little bit over with that one. I'd be a lot over with that one. All right. All right, if I if I screw up, that's fine. I have like a shit ton of embers from invading and killing the Lothric knights over and over again. So, so be it. Actually, I do. Or actually, yeah, I could probably do this as well. All right, I have my claymore then, if I need to. What the shit is that? Oh, God damn. I want to see the clay. Okay, the Claymore is doing more damage because I think that he's in a... That's actually very lucky of me. No, God damn it. I didn't realize. I thought he was, like, kind of chilling out for a second. Damn it. Please, don't hit me.
Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Whoa, hello. No, damn, that was so close. Damn it. Please don't hurt me. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. That's its second phase. Crap. Nope. Damn. Oh, God. Do you see that damage right there? Oh, Jesus. That was fun. Dragon Slayer armor. Not gonna lie, I did see that name a couple times when I was invading, and part of me almost expected it to be a very, very, uh... I'm trying to think of the best way to put it without being mean, but, um... Shoehorned in Ornstein fight. There we go, that's probably the best way to put it. Yeah, so... I mean, it's going to be definitely better than the Drake Blood and the Claymore for this fight, I think. So I think it might be best to just bring out this bad boy. And I might be able to tank a couple of those hits with the weapon skill. Like, I don't know how useful it's going to actually be at the end of the day because, well... A lot of the times when you boost the poise, it's not going to prevent you from dying immediately, all that's going to do is let you tank a hit or two. But from him, it probably won't.